Okay, I love this. Okay, so let's let's put it more into a little bit brass tack. So let's say they, somebody is a technician, right? Yeah. Solopreneur and maybe an, them an assistant or a, a handful, not very many people. Yeah. Um, but like you were saying before, like they feel kind of stuck. They're working sort of in the business, not on the business, and they know what they need to do. Um, but they don't have enough time. I mean, it's the it's the classic example of people that are like, ah, I'm working so hard for not as much money as I think I'm capable of. Mm. What do you give them for those steps? Is it going, okay, I need insider information? Is it focus? Like you started going over quite a few pieces. Give me some step-by-step yes. step on what they should do first and second and third. Very good, awesome. very good. Very simple. I teach this to all my mentees, all my students. It's what I call the wealth triangle. There are three steps. Wealth triangle. Think in terms of like a triangle. There are three corners, right, Jamie? So the first step for anybody in business, it's what I call high income skill, high income skill. Now, I, the way I define high income skill is you, a skill set that has the potential to make you at least $100,000 a year. Okay. Okay. That's the first step. Now, that could be a number of things. When I was getting started, my first high income skill was copywriting. I was writing ads for people and my first mentor, Alan Jacks, told me under his playing, I, I you know, worked with him for, for one year, for, for next to nothing, basically volunteer for a year. But he taught me that skill, the high income skill. And then in my early 20s, I was making six figure or 10,000 a month as a copywriter working, working with other business owners. So that's the first step, high income skill. And then the second step, it's what I call scalable business. Scalable business. Now it could be an internet business, it could be affiliate marketing, could not Amazon. Really doesn't really matter what it is. But scalable means that you can scale the business without a whole lot of infrastructure, without a lot of people. Okay. And then you have what I call high return investments. High return investments. I define high return investment as investments that would give you at least a 10% return year in and year out. Okay. Year in and year. And here's what why it's so important. You think in terms of this triangle, one, two, and three. The problem with most people, let me take about, let's talk about high income skill. Wouldn't you agree for most people if they are making, let's say 10,000 a month, they're, they're pretty comfortable. Mm -hmm. Like they are, they are not desperate. You're paying the bills, you, you've got your, your, your place, you got shelter and then food and car, right? Transportation. I mean, you are okay. You're, you're okay. The problem is most people, they try to start a scalable business without a high income skill. Okay. So what you, what you notice is high income skill gives you cash so that you have that peace of mind. You're paying the bills. Yep. Your business gives you cash flow. It gives you cash flow that you could grow, you can scale, something you can fall back on. And then your high return investment builds your net worth. So in my case, it would be real estate. I mean, there are many different types of investments, but I like real estate. builds my net worth. So you can, in terms of both those three, uh, so you make okay. cash mm -hmm. with your skills. You, now you start a business. If you start a business without high income skills, here's what happens. You are, if when, you know, most businesses, they only, got a business, they only go out of business because they run out of cash, period. Period. They run, sometimes revenue audits, but they run out of cash, they're done. Yep. But when you always have this skills you can fall back on, that's okay. You know what? Maybe I start a business, you think it would make money in three months. What if it takes you a year? What if it takes you two years? It's about survive, surviving power. But when you have high income skills, just like my businesses, all these years, I've, businesses have ups and downs. You know that, Jamie, right? Yep. Doesn't matter how good you are. They are ups and downs. Yes. Okay. Some <laughs> year good, some months you're not so good. Well, then you don't have to ride this roller coaster because you always fall back on your high income skills. 